We're gonna check for a vacuum leak on our tank or on our system here. Uh, we're gonna make sure that our gauge is in the vented position, in the open position. Um, to do this test, you need to make sure that your regulator is turned in tight so there were no threads visible. Pull off the pulsator, just twist it off, and make sure that your drain cap is on tight. You're gonna turn on the pump, we're gonna watch the gauge as it goes up, and it should get really close to 30 here, build an ultimate vacuum in the tank, and uh, then we're gonna turn the vacuum pump off while plugging up these ports. And we're gonna watch the gauge and see how quickly it drops. Building a vacuum very quickly. Getting up to that negative 30 mark. And that's close enough for our purposes here. Turn off the pump. And there's, there's always a small leak uh, in the vacuum pump. So there's the check valve in the vacuum pump, but they don't always hold perfectly tight. So it's, it's common for there to be a small leak. It could even drop a little faster than that, and that's fine. That's very typical for this. So everything here is checking out good. We're gonna do our vacuum test on our tank again. Plug up the holes, turn on the vacuum pump, see if it gets up to 30. Then we're gonna turn off the pump, find out what happens. Okay, it's not building up as fast as I would like it to, but that's okay. It may be, uh, it's just having a hard time building the vacuum. That That's okay, but it's, it's not getting up to 30, so I'm a little concerned. And it is dropping pretty fast. It's dropping fast enough to where I would say I'm concerned about this. Um, and I do hear actually air, air leaking from somewhere. Um, the drain cap wasn't on tight. There we go, now we're building a much better vacuum. And it's dropping very slowly, that's good. We're gonna do a vacuum test on this tank. Turn the pump on, plug up the ports. Nothing, no vacuum. Uh, we have an oil mist eliminator on here. I can see right now, all my air is flowing through this valve. I'm gonna turn off this valve. Try to test again. That was the problem. Okay, we're gonna try another vacuum test on our tank. Um, for some reason, our system isn't working right. So let's plug up these two ports, turn on the vacuum, see if we can get up to 30, and see if we can isolate where our leak is. Okay, we're just, we've got a really bad leak. Uh, we can't even get up to negative five. Uh, there's a really bad leak somewhere. I don't hear or feel any leaks around the tank. Uh, the regulator, there's no leaks here. Um, as I'm looking down here, I can feel and I can hear a leak around this fitting. Tighten up my inline filter fitting, and that was it. Everything looks good here. We're building up a nice, strong vacuum. We'll see how quickly it drops. Looks good again. We're gonna do another vacuum test on this tank here. Um, I've created another problem. Let's we'll see if we can find it. Okay, my first impression is it's not building up enough vacuum. Um, I've double checked my uh, gauge that it is vented, so it is reading accurately, but it's not getting high enough. Um, and this is, this is at the point here where it could be causing some issues in the system. So let's see if we can figure out where it's at. Again, I don't, I don't, I don't feel any air uh, leaking around the tank or anything. Um, 
I don't feel any air here. This, this valve is closed. Um, oh, the swivel nut down here, the swivel nut is loose. If there's any play here at all, uh, that could cause issues. One of the issues is if this, if this fitting is not, if it's only finger tight, vibrations can eventually work it loose and it will have some play in there. And uh, if this is not wrench tight, it's not foolproof. So that was the issue there. With these vacuum pumps, um, the vacuum leaks are the biggest issue we're gonna experience with, with not being uh, able to milk efficiently. And so always start at the beginning. Start back at the pump. Um, make sure that your filters are clean inside the pump. This filter right here. Make sure your fittings are tight. Okay, there should be no play here. Make sure if you have an inline or a um, oil mist eliminator that your valves are closed. Um, make sure, you're, again, everything is nice and tight. Um, if you've gone through all of these problem solving and you, you still are experiencing some leaks, there could be other issues. Um, there could be potentially a crack in the tank. Maybe the tank has been um, dropped and you don't know about it. Maybe uh, something has bumped the tank and you've experienced uh, the, 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 the tank itself has, has failed around these welds. If that's the case, uh, we're more than happy to replace it. Uh, one way to find out if that actually is happening is you can fill up this tank with water. You can just pour water into these ports here until it fills all the way up and if you start to see any leaks then uh, then you know that you have a, a leaky tank that's kind of your last resort all these other things are way more common um, the very slim chance that your your tank has actually had a crack but if it does that's how you figure that out and again we'd be happy to replace that